Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very very powerful video of factorial equations, we will be solving today an interesting factorial equation x plus 2 factorial plus x cube equal to x power 5. While solving this problem, I will use factorial notation, recursive formula in factorial, logical conclusion and we will conclude our result. Let's get started by writing domain of the given equation. As we all know, if x factorial I am writing, then its domain is x is non-negative integer. That means x belongs to z plus and 0 also. Okay. Now as per our equation, if we want to write, then I can write x greater than or equal to minus 2. x belongs to integer. Okay. Now recursive formula. Recursive formula, let me begin with n factorial first. Its meaning is, I have to take the product of all the numbers from 1, 2, 3 up to that particular number n. So this is factorial basically. n belongs to positive integer. So n is greater than 0. Now come to n factorial in recursive order or recursive formula n times n minus 1 factorial or n times n minus 1 n minus 2 factorial and so on. Now let's take our equation. I will consider x cube to the right. So I will take away x cube from both sides. So x plus 2 factorial that would be equal to x power 5 minus x cube. Now it is straight away x cube is common. So I will write x square minus 1. Now difference of a square formula a square minus b square. I will write a plus b a minus b. Up to this point we can write our RHS. What about LHS? LHS I will use recursive formula. I will write x plus 2 then one number shorter means one decrement in this. So x plus 1, one decrement in this, x, one more decrement in this, x minus 1, one more decrement in this, x minus 2 factorial. Stop here. A stop means factorial. Right hand side is x cube, x minus 1, x plus 1. Done. Now check which number we can cancel. So x minus 1 we can cancel. x plus 1 we can cancel. x also we can cancel. And I will write here 2. Now we have to check 0, 1 and minus 1. It should not satisfy our original equation. So let's check quickly. Let me check here. x equal to 0. If I am putting x equal to 0, see what will happen. 2 factorial plus 0 equal to 0. So yes, it is not satisfying. So we can divide x equal to 1. So 3 factorial plus 1. 1 cube is 1. 1 power 5 is again 1. 3 factorial is 6, 6 plus 1, LHS is 7, RHS is 1. So again it is not satisfying, so we can cancel or divide. X is equal to minus 1. So I will write 1 factorial, minus 1 cube, minus 1, equal to minus 1 power 5, minus 1. 1 factorial is 1. So LHS is 0, RHS is minus 1. So this is also not satisfying the original equation. That means we can divide this equation by those factors. So what is left? x plus 2 times x minus 2 factorial equal to x square. Now I will give substitution. What is our substitution? x minus 2. So let me write here. x minus 2 equal to y. So from here I can write x is equal to y plus 2 and what is needed x plus 2 also. 
then x plus 2 will become y plus 4. Let's put here x plus 2. So I will write y plus 4. x minus 2 we substituted. I will write y factorial. And in right hand side I will write x square. So y plus 2 is square. Okay. Now y factorial will be y plus 2 is square over y plus 1. y plus 2 is square over y plus 4. Remember our substitution. Our substitution was x minus 2 we substituted y. Okay. Now you can see y is positive. So y, y cannot be equal to minus 4. And it won't be because left hand side is y factorial. So factorial, so that means y is always positive. So no need to check that value. Okay, now come to expansion, the right hand side. I will write y factorial is equal to y plus 2 whole square. But before that, I will use one manipulation. I will write y plus 4 minus 2 whole square. y plus 2 as y plus 4 minus 2 over y plus 4. Now I will consider this term as A, this term as B. So A minus B whole square. So if I will write, then I will write A square. So Y plus 4 whole square plus B square. 2 square is 4 minus 2 AB. So minus 4 Y plus 4 divided by Y plus 4. Let's split our denominator. So I will get y factorial is equal to y plus 4 whole square over y plus 4. Plus 4 over y plus 4. Minus 4 y plus 4 over y plus 4. Now I will cancel y plus 4. I will cancel one power with denominator. So what is left ultimately? Let me write here y plus 4 plus 4 over y plus 4 minus 4. So again I will cancel 4 and minus 4. What is left? y factorial is equal to y plus 4 over y plus 4. Now logical arguments here. From left hand side we can conclude that y must be positive greater than or equal to 0 because factorial term is there. This term. Okay. And second point I can write from LHS that is must be positive integer. Positive integer. So RHS must be. Okay. This term is Y. No issue at all. Now come to this only. Now conclusion. If Y plus 4 is greater than 4, then this would be one fraction. So it has to be integer. Then Y plus 4, it should be first thing we can conclude. It should be less than 4. So less than or equal to 4. This is confirmed. And second thing, from here we can write y take away 4 from both sides. So y less than or equal to 0. Okay. Then we have to check if y plus 4, how many possibilities are there. So you can consider number from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. But see this condition is quite enough to find out our result from this one and this one. From LHS, Y is obviously positive, greater than or equal to 0. From RHS, Y is less than or equal to 0. So one strong conclusion is coming out. Only Y equal to 0 will be the true value. Our substitution was X minus 2 equal to Y. So X minus 2 equal to 0. So X will be equal to 2.
this is how we will find out now let's verify this value verification x equal to 2 quickly we can verify 4 factorial plus 2 cube plus equal to 2 power 5 4 factorial is 24 2 cube is 8 2 power 5 is 32 32 is equal to 32 that means verified this solution is verified i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video